good morning guys i hope everyone is doing great welcome back to our channel so today in this video we'll be talking about new gen software interview questions and these questions were shared by one of our subscriber friend so recently he got an opportunity to have an interview with new gen software so the same questions what he have experienced like what he have encountered in the interview he has shared with us and we are talking about those questions in this video so before getting into that questions part we can have a look at the mail what we gave angular interview questions new gen software technologies so we have received this mail on 12 july so hi drunken engineer team you're doing a fantastic job it's really helps in interview preparation below are the questions that i encountered at new gen software technologies interview so coming to the topics so these were the topics on which the interview has happened angular basic and advanced rxjs and ngrx so if you are looking out for interview questions on the ui part or so this video will definitely be helping you out before getting further into the video let us talk about the current job openings in india's five top unicorns cred razor pay urban Ca company 1mg digit insurance if your dream job is to get into this companies then do, this is a golden opportunity for you usually it, it is tough to get into this company as they mainly hire from tier one campuses like iit iims and even for few opening they receive a lot of resumes and so chances are your resume will be missed but now there is a easier hack to getting a job at india's top five unicorns you will not require your resume to sit for any interview with these companies instead these companies have started hiring through tests which where candidate can sit for the test and get a score based on your score you will become eligible for the interview with these companies so let us have a look at the current openings in the cred currently there are openings in the cred razor prev urban company 1mg and digit insurance so coming to cred cred was founded by kunalsha cred is one of the fastest growing unicorns in india with a valuation of 2.2 billion dollars cred is hiring for back end and front end developer roles ctc being offered is 14 to 26 lakhs per annum i like ideal candidates are passing out in 2021 batch or 0 to th 3 years of experience preferred skills and competencies are given in the description and you can visit the relevant site and to apply for the sim see this is a golden opportunity for two to zero to three years and to 2021 passing out batch 14 to 26 lakhs package coming to razor pack so razor pay was founded in 2014 razor pay is a new age well founded startup in the payments and finance industry razor pay is hiring for back-end development roles ctc being offered is 20 to 24 lakhs package ideal candidates passing out in 2021 zero to one year of experience preferred skills and competencies are given in the description coming to next that is urban company it is most of you know like it is largest online services company with valuation of over two billion dollars urban company is hiring for business development roles ctc offered is three to six lakhs per annum ideal candidate is zero to one years of experience in the field experience graduation in any field is preferred preferred skills and competencies are given in the description and next company is 1mg this is india's leading integrated consumer health platform so 1mg is hiring for back-end developer roles it is being offered is 10 to 30 lakhs per annum ideal candidate 0 to 1 years of experience or 1 to 3 years of experience prefer skills and competencies are given in the description and the final company that is digit insurance is india's first unicorn in 2021 valued over 1.9 billion dollars it is one of the largest insurance online insurance providers so digit insurance is hiring for front end and back end developer roles ctc offered is zero to sorry two to seven lakhs per annum ideal candidate zero to one years of experience or one to three preferred skills and competencies are given in the description so how to apply for this you can visit the site which is being displayed on your screen that is relevable go to the job section view all the jobs and skills and the skills required register for the test by paying rupees one triple nine you can use our coupon uh, and avail 10 percent discount at the time of registration book the slot of your choice and take your test to get the relevant score you should hurry because slots are getting really filled fast once you receive your relevant score create your candidate profile relevant will guide with the process sit back and sit back and relax 
companies will reach out to you based on your profile the better your relevant score the more companies will reach you out so what are you waiting for grab this golden opportunity to get a chance to work in india's top 5 unicorns and all the best for that so coming to the questions part guys this was the first question can you explain some important angular hooks so these are the listed out hook, life cycle hookups of angular so ng on changes ng on init ng do check ng after content init ng after content check ng after view init ng after view check ng on destroy and we have to explain in detail about the process or at least on those life cycle hookups which we frequently use or at least what you have worked on so the questions were shared answer spot i uh, i have added for just for the reference coming to the next question what is the difference between constructor and ng on init so the constructor is the default method of the class that is executed when the class is instantiated and ensures proper initializations of fields in the class and its subclasses coming to ng on init it is a life cycle hookup hook called by angular to indicate that angular is done creating with the component so this is a basic difference we can say can you explain the difference between component and directives using help of some example so basically components have their own view directive like doesn't have in, in fact a component is in, indeed a directive so you can have your own differences that i have listed out one sample difference here component basically extends directive so coming to the next question what is metadata in angular so to keep it simple metadata is used to decorate a class so that it can configure the expected behavior of the class what is dependency injection in angular so dependency injection is a design pattern in which a class requests dependencies from external sources rather than creating them angular's dependency injection framework provides dependencies to the classes upon instantiation you can use angular dependency injection to increase flexibility and modularity in your application coming to the next question what is the purpose of ng for directive can you write some code snippet for the same so basically for iteration purpose we go for ng for so the ng for directive is used to repeat a portion of html template once per each item for an iterable list or collection the ng for is an angular structural directive and it is similar to ng repeat in angular and one more thing guys uh, please do have hands on experience on this because lot of uh, the questions have like can you write some code snippet for me like they were expecting uh, the code maybe this was happened through virtual because all the interviews are happening virtually these days so maybe we have to share our screen and write the code coming to the next question what happens if you see scripting tag inside template so to be honest uh, i am not sure of this so you can search for it you can google it for the answer or you can provide if you know the answer you can comment it out in the comment section so that even everyone come can be aware of it like at least at least we will learn from that what are the various security contexts in angular so these are the few listed out security concerns you can go through it in detail afterwards but uh, at short we can give like preventing cross site scripting angular cross site scripting security model sanitization and security concept sanitization this an example trusting safe values content security policy enforcing trusted types direct use of dom apis and explicit sanitization calls so here are the few that are listed out so it's up to your project to how to follow and how to implement which one to implement again that varies there can be extra things as well coming to security especially in the banking domains there are there is a huge security involved there so that can be diff- the answer can vary there again so that was about the security context in angular coming to the next question how do you support server side protection in angular application so server side access protection is supported in an angular application by using a templating language that automatically escapes the value to prevent access vulnerabilities on the servers but don't use a templating language to generate angular templates on the server side which creates a high risk of introducing template injection vulnerabilities to be honest even i am not sure about this what is server side xxs protection in angular so google the answer and so took help from one of the site and answering this i may be wrong on this how can we implement lazy loading in angular can you write code snippet for this so you have to explain in detail like how if you have worked on it would be very easy for you to uh, 
uh, what I can say, write the code snippet to for implementing the lazy loading process. Uh, how you will load modules, how you load classes based on what. So this is very interesting question. Coming to the next question, what practices could you adopt to share data to another component elsewhere in the component stream? So basically, how sharing data between homologous components have four ways, like all of us know parent to child, child to parent, child child to parent sharing via output and event emitter, child to parent using view child or parent to child using data in like in at the right input unrelated components sharing with service. What are the most outstanding features of RxJS? So here are few I have listed it out like observer, observable, subscription, operator, subject, schedulers. So coming to observer, the observer is an object with next error and complete methods coming to observable in RxJS an observable function is used to create an observer and attaches it to the source where values are expected like for example click small events from a DOM element or HTTP request etc. Subscription, the role of subscription comes in the scene when the observable, observable is created. To execute the observable we need to subscribe to it. It can be also be used to cancel the execution operators operators are very important part of rxjs and operator is a pure function that takes observable input and emits the result in the output form input and output both are observables here subject a subject is observable again that can multicast that is talk to many observers suppose we have a button with an event listener the function attached to that event using add listener is called every time the user clicks on the button Similar functionality goes for the subject to schedulers. Scheduler controls the execution of when the subscription has to start and be notified. So these were the few of the outstanding features of RxJS. I know there are many other features, extraordinary features of RxJS. You can mention out your own outstanding features, what you feel which are outstanding. Next question, what is the difference between behavior subject and observable in RxJS? So here are the few differences that I have listed out. You can wait for a moment and go through those things. If you are well aware of it, uh, you can skip and go to the next question. Coming to the next question, how RxJS observable is different from promise? So here are the again listed out few differences here. Observables are lazy, promises are not lazy. You have to subscribe to observable can be cancelled promises cannot be cancelled so there are few differences here uh, if you know others you can say that, that that as well when we should use merge map switch map and concat map in rxjs this again depends upon like the scenario the depending upon the scenario we go with either switch map or merge map or concat map so it's, it varies the answer varies from person to person here again what do you understand by reactive programming and what is the biggest disadvantage of reactive programming so basically reactive program is a style of of micro uh, micro architecture involving intelligent routing and consumption of events so and coming to like the disadvantages more memory intensive to store stream of data most of the times might feel unconventional to learn it start needs everything to be a stream most complexities have to be dealt with the, the time of declaration of new services lack of good and simple resources to learn this is one thing often confused to be equivalent to functional reactive programming so these are few disadvantages that i could found of reactive programming coming to the next questions these are these were the questions like what is the flow or steps performed within the reducer method in angular what is the flow or steps performed within the like sorry same question what are the states of ngrx what is the difference between ngrx and rxjs so these were the questions that were asked asked in the newgen software interview so this is the mail that we got from our subscriber friends okay one question that i missed was what is the flow or steps performed within the reducer method this was covered do we need to send the payload in reducer so this was the question that we missed so this is the mail you can go this was for 4.2 years of experience candidate and uh, we don't know about the outcome of the interview whether the candidate was selected or not because we haven't we have replied to this mail but we haven't got any reply on top of that 
so thought of sharing it might help for definitely for angular developers like full stack developers these are very good questions to brush up before taking up an interview as a full stack developer so thought of sharing this with you all guys so that's it in this video and if you're wondering if you're watching our channel for the if you're on a video for the first time you might be wondering like, who are we and what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our real-time interview experiences through these videos so even if you we share our subscriber friends who share their interview experiences with us and if you want to share your interview experience you can reach us at the email id that is given in the description and one more thing in the description we have given links to relevant and other coupon codes you can use it and get benefit out of it so these companies uh, you can visit our channel and get uh, there are a lot of videos that we have already shared and you can get benefit out of it and if you haven't subscribed us please do subscribe please like the video if you like the content uh, provide the feedback in the comment section share it to other technical platforms so that it might helpful to others and all the best for your interviews if you are preparing for i hope you are preparing that's the reason you're watching and thank you for watching and thank you for your time